Hey everyone, welcome back to Ali Bakes. I'm Eliza Saw, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these super cute July the 4th and Canada Day themed cupcakes. I'm making these super cute cupcakes because July the 4th is coming up and so is Canada Day. And I'm Canadian, so I decided to do both because I know how much the Americans love to party on July the 4th and I love a good party. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I started with my Italian meringue buttercream and so if you don't know what that is, you can check out the full tutorial. I can just quickly tell you. It just starts with an Italian meringue, which is a sugar syrup that is boiled to 117 degrees Celsius and then it is poured into some whipped egg whites to create a very stiff meringue. And then we add in some butter slowly to create a super silky and smooth buttercream. So I did that. So I've got all of my buttercreams colored. I did a portion of my buttercream blue and a portion of my buttercream red and I left the rest white. And it's because, well, we all know that the Canadian flag has red and white and the American flag has red, white, and blue. So we're going to start with the Canadian cupcakes because it has the less color. And because we're going to be striping the colors in our piping bags, we want to get the least amount of mixture of colors as possible. So I'm going to put the blue to the side for now. So you're going to need a little palette knife to stripe the colors into the piping bag and a little paper towel or towel just to wipe off the colors and the buttercream off of your palette knife so that you're not mixing the colors as you go. So I've got my little piping bag here and I'm using an Ateco size 1 star tip. You can use any star tip. And then we're just going to flip the bag inside out. And then carefully, we're going to take our palette knife, take a little bit of red buttercream, and just stripe it into the bag. Just like as we did in the succulent cupcakes, we're gonna do that here. To color my buttercreams, I just use some Wilton gel colors. I highly recommend gel colors because it is a lot more pigmented than watercolors. And then, once you can see that the whole thing has been striped through, we're just going to take some white buttercream and plop it in. So I'm doing six cupcakes um, per country, and I'm doing half chocolate, half vanilla. If you want to see my detailed cupcake making video, Check out my IGTV video and it's at Ali Saw on Instagram. On my IGTV video, I did some graduation themed cupcakes. So if you wanna check that out, feel free to do so. So you can kind of see the red is here and here and we're just going to push it down. We're just gonna start with some simple rosettes. And you do a rosette just by making a little circular motion. So I'll just do one and show you. Just like that, a little rosette. And we're just gonna do a bunch and kind of just keep building up. You can basically do them in uh, any size you like. I know it looks really weird right now, but as we keep building on, it'll look better. So now that we've got a couple rosettes on there, we're just going to also take the same piping tip and do a little bit of a drop piping technique. So just like this, you place it towards your cupcake, pipe, and let go. Just like some variation there. There's no set number of rosettes or little flowers that you can do. You can basically go wild and do anything that you like. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the exact same to the USA side because we're going to also need the same colors anyways. So let's just do exactly the same thing here. Okay, so now we're going to take another tip. So I'm gonna be taking my Wilton, what is this, 6V French tip. And then 
We're going to fill this one with just the red buttercream. And then we're also gonna do the drop piping technique, which I think looks really great with this tip. So we're going to just drop it down, pull up, drop it down, pull up, drop it down, pull up. We're gonna add very few to this one because I want this to be a little bit more blue, but very small amounts of red accents. We're gonna go back in with the red and white actually with the uh, Ateco star tip and we're going to just kind of layer on. Okay, we're gonna pipe on some more of the drop technique. We kind of just build up over what we've placed so far. So I'm gonna take that out of my piping bag, switch the tip, and we're gonna use a Ateco number one plain tip and just use it in the same bag because we're gonna be using the same colors anyways. I'm just kind of pop it into the bottom. And now we're going to do the same thing drop pipe technique and create little droplets. So drop and pull, drop and pull. So we're just kind of filling in the gaps that we have. So for example, there's a little space here. I'm just gonna fill that. And then we're just gonna work on the other side, which is the American side. Okay, so I've just got some new piping bags. I cleaned out my piping tip and I filled it with the blue buttercream. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing we did on this side, except we're going to use blue. <laughs> we're gonna take some blue on our palette knife, and then we're gonna take some of the white and red that we just pushed out and put it back in. I'm just gonna pipe on the side of my bowl until I can see that the blue is coming out. So we're also gonna do the little drop piping technique. So these are my cupcakes. They are finished and they look super cute and I can't wait to eat one, so here it goes. I'm gonna take one from the Canadian side because I'm Canadian and I'm going to eat the chocolate one because I'm a chocoholic. My whole face is covered in chocolate now, isn't it? Oh my God, I'm making such a mess. So I'm gonna continue eating this off screen because I'm just making the biggest mess. But if you want to just get the actual recipe, I will post the written recipe on my blog post, which you can click below as usual. So I hope everyone has a very fun and safe Canada Day and 4th of July. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.